I will be using yellow fabric, red fabric, black fabric, black interfacing, I think, a bait bias tape, bias tape. <laughs> this is the interfacing for the um, fabric. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. And a pattern. And of course my iron and my sewing machine. <laughs> so stay tuned. Okay, so the first step I'm gonna do is I have fabric that is 16 inches wide, 36 inches long, and I folded it so it is eight inches front and back. Now I'm just um, ironing the interfacing so it can adhere to the uh, the fabric. That way it won't be so flimsy when I put the pockets on and when people put um, like gifts in the um, the fish extender. It'll have like um, more depth or whatever you want to call it on there to it. I bought these little quarter pound of um, fabrics from Walmart. I just um, ironed the wrinkles out of them, cut out a um, square with this pattern that is uh, 11 inches across by seven inches long. That's the way I wanted my um, pockets. And then this is the interfacing, and I did all the pockets with the interfacing on them. Uh, he's the interfacing to it. And then I started putting the binding across the top of um, each pocket. I did four pockets, and I'm pinning that on there. I sewed that on, but before I did that, this is the pattern to show you um, you mark the dots and then that tells you where to fold um, to make your folds for your pockets and once you make the folds for the pockets as you can see I will be pinning them in place that way you can um, iron them and then you can uh, hold the fold then when you sew the top and the bottom they'll stay in place So I have pinned all the pockets. I just need to sew the bottom. Okay, I have sewed the bottom. So now I need to sew the binding on each side all the way down to the end. That's the way I did mine. And here is the final result. With all the pockets are sewn on, the binding is sewn on each side and everything is secure and ready to be decorated. Okay, so now it's time for me to decorate my fish extender. What I decided to do is use, I don't know what this stuff is, but you buy it in the fabric department and it has two sides, a slippery side and a bumpy side. And you put this on the bumpy side and you iron it on so that adheres that to that. Then you take the paper off and attach it to the thing. So that's what I'm gonna do with this. Stay tuned.
Okay. Okay, I'm done decorating the faces. I made these out of um, leftover t-shirt transfer paper that I had made some t-shirts. <sighs> Family Cruise t-shirts, this is taking a long time. Family Cruise t-shirts, so I'm gonna put these on there and I'll be back. Okay, there is the thing ironed on and all ready. For the back, I just um, flipped it over and sealed it with hot glue. So I'll show you how to put the rod on. I got this rod from Walmart. The rod in there, I cut them an inch longer on each part, on each end. I'm going to put this uh, red ribbon. Okay, it's all done. I'm so proud of myself. I did it all by myself. And it came out really nice. There's Isaiah's, Elijah's, mine, and Big Maurice. And there is this And the thing. I hot glued this around so hopefully it is okay steady. it's all done Wonder. I hope you guys learned there something and picked up some tips if so let me know in the comments below if you guys liked it or if you guys try to make one yourself thank you for watching There's our door. There's little Maurice, Alasia, Isaiah, me, and Daddy. There's my Mickey Mouse and the Sullivan family. Here is my fixed extender that I made. I think it came out really nice. We already have gifts in it. Already have gifts in it. So. There it is.